Across the Chicago area, theaters are announcing new coronavirus restrictions. They're requiring masks and even proof of vaccination if you want to attend a show this fall. NBC5's Alex Maragos has the story. The toughest stretch of the pandemic is over for local performers, and now they're ready to sing. But the last 18 months has taught clubs, bars, and theaters that they have to fight to stay alive. We don't work in the theater because we don't like being around people. Deb Clapp is executive director of the League of Chicago Theaters, representing 200 venues in the city and suburbs. I went to an indoor show uh, last Thursday for the first time, and it was a very emotional experience for me. To keep those experiences going, the group announced today that 75 local theaters will enforce enhanced COVID protocols. Theaters across the area will require proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test starting September 1st. We really want theaters to be able to open and to stay open. And at Fitzgerald's in Berwyn, a new sign with some colorful language for COVID is on the door tonight. There's maybe a little bit of cheeky language in there and a little bit of fun and maybe what would be called foul language. But, uh, you know, we want to kick COVID's you know what. Owner Will Duncan says similar measures there start tonight in the interest of health and self-preservation. It's been a long year and a half without much live music in the world. The theater protocols could be enhanced or relaxed depending on the severity of COVID. But if all goes well this fall, they hope they can keep the seats full and the lights on for good. Reporting on Randolph Street, Alex Maragos, NBC5 News. That's